Hey guys, how's it growing? I was simply looking at some stuff and I need to send a message to someone real quick. B G to G. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready for some master duel to try to get this deck to work? <gasps> First, let's see this. Hey, Duelox, have you experienced productivity shame? Where you feel like you should be working despite nothing you have to do? If so, how do you get through it? Is that a thing? You feel like you should be working despite not having anything to do? Nope. But, in my case, I always have something to do. If you feel like you have nothing to do, and you're feeling shame for not doing anything, I mean, the obvious solution seems to be just to find something to do, right? Hmm, that's why MMOs are great. They give you realistic goals to achieve without having to, like, try hard in life. Just get addicted to World of Warcraft and you'll never feel that ever again because you'll constantly be working towards some goal. Wait, was I muted this whole time? <gasps> you were not muted? <laughs> you were muted when the scene changed? Why? Why was it muted when the scene changed? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> That's never happened before. I thought you were just being quiet. I was out here camping too. Did you hear the first? We had first at Pepe. Number two was Jax Chewy. Number three was Stardust Synchron. Number four was Chase with Haze. Number five was Mad Almayham. Or is that Madame Ham? I like Mad Almayham instead. There's base, link, vampire donation, number 92 turbo. What? I'm trying to build this solid deck. Anybody from sure new Discord server been helping me, but I'm sure like five varieties we've made. Oh, okay. Hey, Mr. Duologs, can you ask your uncle from Megami to unlimited speed Roy Terratop? I would love to. I want easy access to Utopic Draco Future. <gasps> Is that what I should do for this deck? Should I just run? the ghost trick engine instead of all this other shit I'm doing wow amazing why didn't I think of this before mad ame ham I like it <laughs> mad ame ham it is mad ame ham you know what I found was if you're making a new account on twitch they make you start with all of your name like lowercase and you have to go in and manually capitalize things after the fact so that's why so many of you guys have lowercase names because you never went to the settings to change that not enough garnets hmm i was thinking so this deck did not perform very good last time and I probably need to make some changes to it to make sure it performs a little bit better. And I was thinking, wow, this deck is so reliant on Giant Ballpark that it's not even funny. What if it wasn't? And then that's where my conclusions came to today. What if it didn't only rely on Giant Ballpark for its wits? 
What if I added an engine to this deck? So that it could rely on something else as well. An engine like, I don't know, DPE? Maybe Ghost Tricks? Maybe DPE? Maybe Adventure? Maybe Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer? I don't know, it's any of these things. Just add like four to five engines? I might have to remove some things. Like Tenyi. Tenyi's can't really give me a board though. I mean, I could add Tenyi's. They would combo well with this. But the Tenyi engine doesn't really combo with what I'm trying to accomplish, you know? Why is it abbreviated DPE and not DEPE? DPE? Why would you do DEPE? Just so it doesn't look like double penetration. Or is that not it? What is DPE? I know DPE is supposed to be like a sex term too, but now that I said it out loud, I don't think that's true. Why are there six garnets? No, there's ten. What do you mean six? Can't you look? Can't you see with your eyes? You like PP better? Wow. DP is a sex term? What is DPE? I thought this was a Christian stream. It is a Christian stream. He's starting to rethink his, de his decisions. Shut up. Let's go with 10 yees. We'll, we'll try it out. We'll throw in triple Vishuda, one Ashuna, one Adhara. And then we'll throw in a uh, triple Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. Okay, this is amazing. Um, And then where do we go from here? We need to play two copies of Monk of the Tenyi. We can also play Berserker, but it's not really going to ever come out. <gasps> Draco Master, two monsters, including at least a Link monster, cannot be destroyed by battle with an effect monster. Ooh. Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Ooh. Ooh, but we only have a level one tuner, so it doesn't really give us much. Assault mode? Assault mode's an engine I could use. I could also run the assault mode engine, but we'll go with DPE engine for now. And we'll play one Berserker of the Tenyi. We can go into Tenyi shenanigans with Adhara. Uh, let's see, 1 plus uh, 4 is 5. I'm not even going to bother with that. Last time I checked, Miwa claimed DPE stood for Double Penetration Enjoyers. That sounds wrong. Some with Big Brain, tell me what the non-vanilla garnets are. Uh, Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord, and also Dogmatica Nexus. I think I know what to do. Remove Forbidden Droplet. Play more copies of Demise of the Land. Play more copies of King of the Swamp. <gasps> Wait, maybe I should play one copy of Shathana instead of the Tuner. Because that gives me a pop. Let's see. Um, then we'll go down to one target of Trap Trick. We'll go down to two of these. And two of these. And um, this should work. We'll remove this this dude. Millennium Eyes Restrict. We can remove... Um, we don't need three copies of that. We don't really need Security Dragon anymore. But we don't not need him too. We don't really need Draco Master of the Tenyi. But we don't not need Draco Master of the Tenyi too. Which one of these? I'll just get rid of Millennium Eyes. We don't really need that. Okay. Three of a kind ballpark cubic fusions... Tenyi. Three of a kind, ballpark, cubic fusions. Tenyi. Okay. Let's see if adding the Tenyis can make this work. As a new viewer, huh? <gasps> Hello there, new viewer. You must be new. Let me explain to you how this works. So today, we're going to be playing a gimmick deck. And we're going to see if it can work. At least once. At least for one duel to give me a good clip. That's all we're doing. We're just farming clips out here. You think this is a stream? No, this is all for YouTube content. You guys exist as a vehicle for my YouTube content. Today, isn't it every day? Shit, I bricked. 
I bricked. I bricked. I bricked, guys. I can't. I don't have any plays. I bricked. I'll normal summon shiny black sea. And then I can go into guardian chimera. Wait. I should also add in DPE. Logs turned to a clip farmer. Who knew? <laughs> yeah, fuck Twitch. Nobody even likes Twitch. Twitch is the worst. All my homies, they all just live for YouTube. <gasps> oh crap, is this an FTK deck? It is an FTK deck. I don't have any hand traps to stop this. Royal Magical Library. Okay, Upstart Goblin. Alright. So, they have basically full combo. I can't imagine them losing at this point because they have Royal Magical Library on the field. I ain't sitting through this. I didn't even open that well. I should also throw in the DPE engine. So, Destiny, our uh, streams, are the clips from the streams more profitable than the streams? Um, They used to be. We haven't really been posting clips as much. Okay, so we'll throw in, ooh, there's two Fusion Destinies now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Do we have three? Malicious is still banned. Hmm. Malicious is still banned. Okay, we'll get rid of... We'll, we'll add in one Dasher. And we'll also add in one Draw Dude. There he is. And then I'll remove... I don't really need subsurface stage divers anymore since I removed a lot of my shit. Okay, and, um, um, should, do we really need Ashuna anymore? Oh, I should probably put in at the actual, like, main draw of the card. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. That would probably help a little bit. There we go. The shiny version. We'll just get rid of this one. I never go into it. They should limit Malicious just because... Wait, if I'm paying plain, plain polymerization in here, there's a chance I can go into two of them. So let's play another Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, and then let's remove one copy of Tenny Berserker. Then let's add in a, a pot of Avarice. Pot of Ava. Okay, save. All right, this is looking... Oh, wait. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I forgot to add in Ultimate Dragon. Ultimate Dragon. I'm literally the dumbest person who's ever existed. There we go. Now we have Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Hating on Malicious is crazy. I love Malicious. What are you talking? Oh, fuck. I forgot to add in Predaplant. Predaplant. I forgot to add in Predaplant Verte Anaconda. How did you guys not tell me to add in Predaplant Verte Anaconda? <laughs> Did you see the new Vanquish Soul archetype release? It's really DOA. I don't know what DOA means or Vanquish Souls. I did though. I didn't see your message. You ever got the main card? The yeah, Eden? Shut the hell up. I'll ban you. <gasps> Ooh. Activate Shathana. Special summon from the hand. Then we're going to use it to go into Monk of the Tenyi. Dead on arrival. Shut up. Okay. Monk of the Tenyi. And then. We'll set three cards and pass. We for Gar? Oh my god, it's Maple! I saw you over in Foulstream. Vanquish Souls is the name for the new archetype? What new archetype? Is that that furry archetype? Wise Man's Chalice? If you control a monster, it's like one monster your opponent's graveyard, spells or somebody can't be attributed or use synchro material. Ooh, Demise of the Land. Now I get to activate Giant Ballpark from my deck. You absolute buffoon. You've activated my trap card. Okay, Vampire Ghost. Oh my god, that's such a good tech! Because the zombie vampire uses monsters from your opponent's graveyard as level 8. No matter what level they are. <gasps> vampire Familiar. Whoa. During the end phase of this turn, give the control the summon monster to your opponent. That is some spicy vampire tech. 
A based vampire enjoyer. Special summon out vampire familiar. Let's them add a vampire monster from their deck to their hand. They're going to add retainer, which adds a spell power, a vampire spell trap from the deck to their hand when it's special summoned, which you can do by just discarding one vampire card. Vampire ghost. We could normal summon an additional vampire monster this turn. Okay. Have they used a normal summon? I wasn't paying attention, to be honest. A pure vampire. Looks like they're tribute summoning for Scarlet Scourge. When this card is summoned, you can pay a thousand life points to target a vampire monster in your graveyard and special summon it, but it can't attack this turn. They have Vampire Sorcerer, which doesn't do anything on the field, if I remember correctly. If this card in your possession is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, add a Dark Vampire or Vampire Spell Trap your deck to your hand. You can banish this card from your graveyard to do other things. <gasps> They're using both of them to go into Sheridan? Wait, that one also has the effect? If you use a monster with a level that is owned by your opponent for the XC sum of this card, treat it as level 6. Wait, this card sucks. What does it do? Once per turn, target one material from this card, target one card your opponent controls, and send it to the graveyard. <gasps> Don't send my giant ballpark to the graveyard. God damn it. Well, luckily I have a different engine, so I'm not reliant on it anymore. Although I'm pretty sure they didn't send Shathana to the grave, so I'm going to use Cubic Ascension <laughs> to redirect it to the Cubic Seed. Then, I'm going to activate Cubic Seed to put a Cubic Counter on him, which makes it so his effects are negated and he can't attack. Literally stuck on the field, idiot. Are there any other mechanics in Yu-Gi-Oh! think of failed monster archetypes that are just dead on arrival? Um, yes, there's a whole bunch. I have like a whole list of them. That reminds me, I should probably make a video about one of them. Okay, then I can special summon Cubic Seed from the graveyard. Gemini's? I've already made a video on Gemini's. Okay, then I can normal summon Destiny Hero Draw Dude. Don't fucking steal my cards with Crackdown, you stupid lovely person. Okay, then we summon Draw Dude. We can use both of them to go into Security Dragon. That's seriously it? That's all I have? I really needed three cards. Oh boy, my, I don't really have a good Synchro package right now. Well, I have another Cubic Ascension at the very least. <gasps> Let's go into the battle phase. We'll attack this one right here. Get this card off the field, and then we'll attack Cubic Seed for some big damage. I wonder if they use the effect if it goes to their field. What, they're not going to use the effect? Oh, I guess they can't because Crackdown prevents them from using the effects. Okay, well, my graveyard can't do anything until I get a King of the Swamp into the graveyard. Then my Necrofusion is turned on. Wasn't there wind-up fish serpents that banish themselves? Yeah, Banny Sharks. I already have an episode on them. Type in the unknown, no, failed cards and mechanics, the Banny Sharks. I fucking love Banny Sharks. That's why I know they suck. The Exodia archetype was dead on arrival. The Exodia archetype was tier zero. What do you mean? Well, I don't, I don't know if it was tier zero, but it was pretty good. Oh, a family talk question. Why did no one tell me that? I've been ignoring chat. Good day, Mr. Longs. I missed your handsome spider face. Why, thank you. Okay. Um, Family talk question. If you could change one thing about your parents, what would it be and why? <gasps> Excellent question. If I could change one thing about my parents, I assume it is a question for children. As an adult, I don't care. I don't really talk to them, and I'm not on bad terms with my mom. As a child, one thing I would change, I'd be like, Mom, I need more food in the house. Please stock the fridge, please and thank you. That would be it. Make them immortal. Why didn't people I was ignoring tell me they asked a question? I wasn't ignoring. I wasn't looking at chat. There's a difference. Damn it. Don't fucking use my cubic seed to go into the zombie vampire, you stupid bit. Uh, <laughs> lovely person. <laughs> zombie vampire mills three from both top. They got a Vishuda and they got a sorcerer. They're going to special summon my Vishuda. That way they can go into something else. <gasps> Vivode, if a monster is special summoned from your opponent's graveyard, you can tribute two monsters to special summon this card from your graveyard. Vampire Vivoid. Or Voivode. Voivode. I said this correctly in my video. You bitter lemon. 
Dual Onks has daddy issues confirmed? No, I don't. Why didn't the people I was ignoring? Shut up. And then I can activate Cubic Ascension, you stupid idiot, you moron, you absolute buffoon. Oh, fuck, they have an Omni Negate. Okay, never mind. This is kind of bad. They negated my Cubic Ascension, so now they can destroy my cards. But if my life points go below 2,000, then I can use one of their effects from the graveyard. <gasps> How screwed is the dual logs? I'm gonna be able to activate. Oh, right, he's locked down, so he can't attack. You're not gonna fall for it twice? Fall for what? I was surprised by a recent video. I did not know Armor Axes was pronounced that way. Yeah, it's funny. It's like one of the few cards that actually has a pronunciation guide. Yes, activate draw, dude. I can't believe I drew into Fusion Destiny and I can't use it. When a monster's effect is activated while you control this card with a different name. Wait, what? With its same name in the graveyards, quick effect, negate the activation if you do destroy the card. Uh, using monsters from your hand or deck as fusion materials. Hmm, this isn't game over yet. As soon as my life points drop 2,000 below theirs, then I can use Cubic Ascension from the graveyard. Because this only negates monster effects. Scoop time? Shut the hell up. There's no scoop. Look, Cubic Ascension from the grave. You guys forget, Cubics have amazing graveyard effects. Summon more copies to the field? Yes. Oh my god, one of them is stuck underneath this guy. <laughs> I could have brought out three Cubics. Brain control? Stop fucking stealing my cards. Oh my god. Are they going to go into another the zombie vampire? I like this opponent. He keeps stealing my cards. This is wrong. I wish he would stop. God damn it. Why didn't he just fucking use this before he went into the battle phase? Then I could have had three cubic seeds on the field. Stop stealing my cards. Ooh, I can use Necrofusion now. <laughs> First of the dragons. He can't be destroyed by battle. And he's unaffected by card effects of monsters who aren't normal monsters. No, 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 no. This card cannot be destroyed by battle except by normal monsters and is unaffected by other monsters' effects. He can't do nothing. Target one card your opponent controls and send it to the graveyard? What are you going to do? Send my cubic seed to the graveyard? I still have first of the dragons who can crash over everything. Wait, what is he doing? If a monster is sent from the field to your opponent's grave by a card effect, or a monster destroyed by battle and sent to opponent, detach one material, spuddle someone one of those monsters. Oh, they're bringing it back to go into another zombie vampire? I forgot. Necrofusion allows me to go into first of the dragons. I should also bring back that beetle. That's another good card. Wait, what? Oh my god, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Underworld Goddess, seriously? Polymerization? Oh my goodness gracious. It's fine, I didn't even have Verte in the deck, so it doesn't even matter. Get fucked, dual logs! Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, give me a second. I need to use my big brain to think. I need to use Verte on a condo. Donut time. No donuts today. Guy who plays Snatch still feel legal. That was a good vampire deck. I think I will go and steal it. Not cubic enough? My dude, my opponent had everything. And then some, and I had nothing. Wait, aren't we playing the cubic fusion? No, I got rid of the cubic fusion. It was too bricky. I'm still playing cubics, but I'm not playing that. And my god, have the cubics been coming in clutch? 
Uh, B troopers. It was the fusion B trooper. How do you spell B trooper? B trooper. And also, they destroyed Giant Ballpark again. <laughs> they always destroy Giant Ballpark. <laughs> Why don't they ever leave my Giant Ballpark alone? Oh, I already have three copies. Where's Pot of Greed? In your butt. Let's get rid of Security Dragon, I guess. Okay. Use Bead Cop Counter like M Mystic Mine used to. They always get rid of it without destroying it. I don't need to protect it that much. <gasps> Going first! Oh, it's the dual logs? Foul Plague, aren't you streaming right now? Will logs ever keep the ballpark up? This is why I had to add in another engine because the ballpark is never up. Swambo. Thanks for the three gifted subs, that man 66. Okay, and then we add polymerization from the deck to the hand. Then we summon giant ballpark. Then we set this card face down and then we play cubic ascension and then pass. I'm relying on a battle trap to save me. And also that they don't destroy a giant ballpark. I'm going to bed now. I just send everything to Miwa. Oh, okay. Oh, to Miwa? Is Miwa streaming right now? Everybody go tell Miwa that I said hello there, best colleague. Ooh, blue eyes. I have a chance to win. They summon Sage with the Eyes of Blue, which lets them add a level 1 light tuner monster from their deck to their hand. They added White Stone of Ancients. Amazing. Do they have a way to pitch it to the graveyard to special summon from the deck? Oh, they're going to go into Link Karibo. No, Almirage. Ooh, that's a new one. Usually they go into Link Karibo so that they can keep using the effect from the graveyard. The Cubic feels like such a deck would be so good 13 years ago. Dude, Cubics are amazing. There's ads. King Ukuzi VT. Wait, how are you not a sub? Didn't you donate a whole bunch of subs yesterday? Or like two days ago? <gasps> I can go into Fusion Summon. No, wait. If I turn this into a, a, a Link Rebo, I can go into... Guardian Chimera, but they're going to destroy with Dogmatic of Punishment instead and pop two cards on my side of the field. Uh-oh. Hopefully they don't destroy my giant ballpark. <sighs> oh, they sent to Tinny Clad? Psh. 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 Okay, bozo. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's normal summon king of the swamp now they're locked out of the extra deck and then I can enter the battle phase and I can proc my own I'm gonna be able to proc giant ballpark for the first time in my life Miwa says hi back oh did you guys actually say something to her okay giant ballpark we're gonna send shiny squadron to the graveyard and special summon three of them whoa look at this that's three monsters. And then we attack for 6,000 points of damage. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Okay. Yeah, three of them dings. That's 6,000 points, which is damn. <gasps> this is what the deck is supposed to do. Look, I finally have three monsters of the same name on the field. Have you guys ever seen three monsters of the same name on the field at the same time before? Look, I can even go into other cards and stuff. I can go into Pico Flina in order to send a whole bunch of cards back to the deck. Or I can use Polymerization. <laughs> okay, we can go into Guardian Chimera. We can use this card in the field, this card in the field, and this card in my hand. Get Polymerization in the graveyard so it can't be targeted by card effects. And then use Guardian Chimera to destroy cards in the field. Destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of cards uses material and then they're gonna go into skill drain 
Oh, <gasps> uh, okay. What deck were they playing? Blue Eyes? It's Chimera. Don't you mean Chimera? See? Chimera. I'm so smart. Okay, Titani Clad to go into Dogmatica Ecclesia, which has its effect negated because of Skill Drain. Stop it. Hey, I'm sorry. I know how to read better than you guys. Well, the thing is, I have Guardian Chimera on the field, which is stronger than any of their Blue Eyes cards, unless they go specifically into Tyrant Dragon or one of their, like, big fusions. Wait, Forbidden Drop... Oh, they're gonna send it to the graveyard. <laughs> they sent their own Skill Drain to the graveyard with Forbidden Droplet so they could lower Guardian Chimera and cut his attack in half. Okay, that benefits me, then it benefits you, Bozo. Okay, and then they normal summon Fallen of Albaz. I assume they're going to try to use his effect in order to use my Guardian Chimera to go into... No, they didn't use the effect. Um, okay, I guess they're just going to crash into it. I'm going to use Cubic Ascension in order to save my Guardian Chimera. They're going to crash into Cubic Seed instead, and then I'll use Cubic Seed to shut it down. Now it has a Cubic Counter, so it can't attack or activate its effects. Dogmatica. Oh, yeah! Dogmatica Punishment! <gasps> I won! The deck worked! Guys, did you see that? The deck worked for once. And you guys said this deck was horrible. I bet you have egg on your face. I have so many questions on their deck. No, I didn't. Do it again. Yes, exactly. Thanks for the applause. I need to add more um, sounds to that. But Meowie refuses to record lines for me. I have gone to the fridge and put egg on my face. Good, knocked his hole. Ooh, three of a kind. You pay her? You think I won't pay her? Ask Miwa or Ame? No. I only want Meowie's voice. No one else's voice will suffice. Okay, John the Don. Ooh, I won again. Wow, I'm on a winning streak. What happened now? First to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Your opponent's choosing whether or not to go first. Mabel's voice is pretty good too. It's Meowie's voice or nothing. You gotta hurry logs. Miwa's rank is higher. Is a higher rank? Oh, I'm not trying to increase my rank though. Photon Orbital into Photon Vanisher. Had a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your deck to your hand. And then trade in in order to turn into two new cards. Reinforcements of the Army. In order to add Photon Thrasher. I should probably have my phone silent. Careful about winning so much, Team Samurai might end up doing a 10-0 undefeated Tier 0 Master Deck video on it. Did you remember Verte? I did. I can just do that myself. This deck went 10-0 Master Duel. Absolutely 100% consistent. Not bad at all. Harley has a cool teacher voice. I don't know how to explain it. He just sounds like a cool teacher. Oh, that's true. <gasps> Is that Yuri Riri? Yuri, you never responded to my DM. I guess that's fine, though, considering what the message was. Huh. 
fine to have both. Let's see here. Have, are they done with their combos yet? What are they doing? Galaxy Cyclone into Galaxy Soul Flare Dragon. What does this card do? If this card's Link Summon, you can target one Photon or Galaxy Monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. They added <gasps> Galaxy Knight. They're not doing the combos I'm expecting them to do. There we go. There's Afterglow Dragon. I'm glad I'm going first with this. I've been busy all day. I sent it yesterday. Or like two days ago, actually. Photon Orbital. During the main phase, you can target one Photon or Galaxy Monster you control. Equip this card from your hand against fire attack. Also, it can't be destroyed by battle. <gasps> wow, amazing. This means I can win because this board is garbage. I'm the kind of person who takes a few days to respond. <gasps> I mean, it's fine. I don't give a shit. No Lord Harbinger? I, I was expecting a Harbinger. I don't even have any spells, but I was expecting it. Okay. I have this card on the field. I can go into Monk of the Tenyi. Or I can normal summon draw, dude. Hmm. No, we're just going to Monk of the Tenyi. You say that, but you bring it up. Of course I do, because I see you in chat. All right. And then I can use Cubic Seeds to lock down their card so he can't use his effect. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can discard one Photon card and one Galaxy card, or discard one Galaxy Eyes and target one spell to the monster your opponent controls and destroy it. <gasps> Are they going to try to destroy my cards? What if I lock them down? Yeah, I popped out lurk mode. I'll answer you. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> no! Don't fucking shut down my cubic seed, you stupid bitch. Uh, I guess I'm going to go into a link. No, it, it's only for one turn. Whatever. It's not even a big deal. We'll just pass. Okay, I can't do anything. He locked down my cubic seed. Now I can't lock him down, but I now I have an Omni Negate live because of Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. And I have no way to activate three of a kind at the moment because I don't have my field spell. Galaxy Cyclone, are you fucking kidding me? Whatever, I don't even need that card. But that will destroy my my uh, field spell if they get it out later. Galaxy Knight is trying to activate its effect. Would you like to negate effects? No. Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Number 100 is coming. Probably. Add a Photon or Galaxy Monster from your deck to your hand. Another Afterglow Dragon. Thanks for the 5 gifted subs, Slasher X. Your opponent is activating another Afterglow Dragon. Oh no! That is four level 8 monsters on the field. Slasher X. Now they summon a monster with 10,000 attack and win. Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon. Okay. Titanic Hope. Wait, what are they going into? Has this deck worked? I don't know what my opponent's doing, but I definitely did not do well. Actually summoning their boss monster? Who the fuck is their boss monster? Cypher Dragon, so they're going to steal one of my cards, I, I guess. Armor Photon Dragon. Didn't even attempt to steal one of the cards. Let's see. Once per turn, detach material, then target one face-up card your opponent controls and destroy it. Ooh, and it's a Royal Rare. Ooh. Why are they trying to destroy Cubic Seed? <gasps> Tachyon Transmigration? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Wow. They actually use that card. He's just better? I'm sorry, I can't I can't compete with this. You know, when you're good, they're good. Oh no. 
Why couldn't they have destroyed Waking the Dragon? That would have been more funnier. Outplayed by a structure deck? Shut up. I bricked. Activate Shathana? Congratulations. You played yeah. Yourself. Special summon this card. Destroy a card on the field. Wait, why did he gain a whole bunch of attack points? Wait, does that have a floating effect? I didn't know they had a floating effect. Well, I mean, I was going to lose anyway, so who cares? Oh, no. <laughs> All I know is it destroys cards. Well, you can't win them all. Sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. The alarm noise for the final attack? Can't say I didn't warn you. I was going to lose anyway. Shut the hell up. Ooh, three of a kind and giant ball park. <gasps> Ooh, and I only drew into two of my garnets. Amazing. I can actually go into Verte with these cards, though. No extra deck? Oh, no. Are they playing an FTK? Oh, they're just playing the self TK. God damn it. I finally drew a good hand. <sighs> Why are self TK decks in gold? It's the infamous KK what? Oh my god. Is this a bot? Yeah. Even you know this guy? I've never heard of this guy before. Summon Pot of Greed? No. Uh, Petite Moth. I can't believe I drew into so many Garnets. This is ridiculous. I drew into another goddamn Flying Sea. It doesn't matter. Petite Moth Ban win? There's enough damage to win. KK what? Always on self TK? Oh, it's a person? I've never dueled this guy while he's not running this deck. So he's just permanently in gold, just self TKing for what? <sighs> Do you make the thumbnails for the clip channels? I make some of them. I'm up first. Shathana. Special summon. From the hand. My opponent response? No? Probably a bot farming after dual rewards. Max C? Oh. Damn it. Well, I'm not going to stop there. Wait, 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 wait. I meant to go into Link Spider. Link Spider into a Link Spider. 
Then we use Link Spider to special summon Petite Moth from the hand. Don't feed the roach. I literally can't hear you. La 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 la. I'm trying to special summon as many times as I can. Verte Anaconda. Spider Gaming. Try to plant Verte Anaconda. Okay, then I need to go into Monk of the Tenyi. Okay. Then I can go into Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. Yeah. Send a fusion card to the graveyard. Special summon Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Hello, twitch.tv forward slash the dual logs. Oh my goodness gracious, is that Sakana Sushi? I haven't seen you in ages. I saw you playing Fork Knife earlier. Oh, I forgot to do the daily sushi roll. I've been avoiding Twitch recently. And just kind of like trying to detox. Not detox, that's not the right word for it. Detox implies that it's like toxic. <laughs> I've just been staying away from streams so that I can watch different kinds of entertainment recently. Activate draw hand. Why didn't you join and carry me? Nyaho, fair, fair. Carry? Question, do you like to be carried? I was making fun of Leah for it, like, last week. I was like, Leah, every time you stream... Overwatch or Fortnite or any of those kinds of games it's only when you're getting carried and she was like nah -uh. and then I apologized for her I apologized for it later oh <gasps> ooh destiny hero destroyer phoenix enforcer I want to be huge but I'm small you're just a little dude a little guy Destiny or destroy Phoenix Enforcer, destroy myself, and then destroy this card so it can't resolve properly. Activate destroy Phoenix Enforcer's effect in the graveyard? Yes. I was confused what to do. Yeah, so I was just wondering based on that. I was like, do you also get carried all the time, Sakana Sushi? I don't know. I don't really watch anything except for Master Duel or RimWorld. Because while I do like to play a little bit of Overwatch, I don't really like to watch shooters. <laughs> Your opponent's confused on what to do with all those cards in hand. It's because they're playing Dark Magicians. The two most psychophant Yu-Gi-Oh! and RimWorld. The RimWorld streams are just very chill. Don't like to watch other shooters? No, I don't. <gasps> I want to play Risk of Rain too. That game's fun. Have you guys ever heard of that? I heard about it through... um when I collabed with Hina last week and I've been wanting to play it and I saw Gray playing it earlier today. It's really dank and he was playing like a, a Darth Vader mode. He had like a Darth Vader character. And I was like, do they have lightning characters? I want a lightning character. You have a Risk of Rain tattoo? Why? Why would you subject yourself to that? I love both Risk of Rain 1 and 2. I've never heard of Risk of Rain 1. Okay, my Dark Magician player just summoned an Apprentice Illusion Magician. And they're not doing anything else. <gasps> Secrets of Dark Magicians? Are they going to fusion or... Oh, they're going for a fusion summon. I think they're going to go into the Dark Magicians. What do you guys think, chat? Hopefully they don't go into the Dark Magician guy. The one who protects the back row because that would suck. <gasps> All those cards that you don't have to play? Oh, thank god he went to the Dark Magicians. That one just draws him cards and stuff whenever trap card or effects are activated. The Quintet Magician? Shut up. Because I was Risk of Rain made me laugh and I tattooed a homage, made me feel better in my worst moments and also funny and good. Oh, okay. I guess that makes sense. Oh no, are they going to destroy my shit? Wait, if they destroy Monk of the Tenyu, then I can destroy their cards. 
They're going to destroy Predator Plant Verte Anaconda? Okay, whatever. It also floats into two Dark Magicians and the Dark Magician Girl. I know. I I think from your hand deck and or graveyard. Uh-oh. That means if I destroy it, it's going to float into two other cards and possibly end the game. Bring out Monk of the Ten Yi. Destroy a card in the field. We'll just destroy this one. It's lower effort. We're glad you're still here with us. Yes. Remember, guys, the best way to out Dark Magicians was to tribute Doll. I remember that. <gasps> I remember that. First of the Dragons. We'll use this one and this one. First of the Dragons doesn't do much versus Dark Magicians because they're all fucking normal monsters. And their main form removal is Spell Traps. Literally, worst deck to go against. My favorite classes are Captain. What? Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn. Veshuda. Activate Destiny Hero. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. I don't know why I said yes. I thought it was Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, not freaking Veshuda. I guess I'm still in the draw phase. Okay, standby phase. Now I can bring out Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, his attack goes down to 2600. Yes to everything? Sh shut up. <gasps> Ooh, I can use them to go into Draco Master. Or Seraph Papillion, two plus monsters with different names. Ooh. For each insect monster uses its material. Ooh, I can't do that. I can go into Draco Master, though. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh... Damn it, how the fuck do I get Tenyi in the grave? I want to bounce his card, not destroy it. 2700, 2800, 2700, 28, 28, 28, 28. We'll just do this. I don't care that much. Why are you going all out? Because I max seed him. I have to flex a little bit. Okay. You cannot Oh, I don't have any I don't have any normal monsters in the grave. I banished them. Um oops. Okay, we'll destroy this card right here. Would you like to activate the effect of DPE? No. Okay, and the Dark Magicians will float into Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Special summon both one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician Girl from your hand, deck, and or graveyard. Caster is a class full of classes? Full of casters? No way. Okay, well, let's destroy these cards too. Dark burning attack. God damn it. If you only if you control monsters whose names are Dark Magician Wait, Eternal Soul, what are they doing? Use the effect? They're giving it away. Now I know which card to destroy. I was going to go for Eternal Soul anyway. The fools. <laughs> now I know which one to get rid of. <laughs> okay. Well, my card's going to get destroyed anyway. Uh, and so are these ones. They're immune to monster effects, but not those. Dark burning attack. <laughs> And then Eternal Soul will get rid of the other ones, and then I'll activate Destiny Hero Destroy Phoenix Enforcer in the graveyard. Yeah, what an absolute buffoon. And then they lose all their cards. Main Phase 2, we can set a Cubic Seed and a 3 of a kind. Wait, I have a card in the graveyard I can use? Oh, Link Rebo. And then pass.
Couldn't they have summoned the fusion that protects from the graveyard? They had another eternal soul? They had two eternal souls. That means I can destroy that one too. With my DPE, that's going to come back. Guys, I think DPE was an excellent inclusion to this deck. I need a card where all my monsters become level 4. They have cards like that. Wow, what an easy target for my destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Hard carried by DPE? Yup. So wait, DPE recycles itself? Yeah. Turns out DP is a very good card. Who would have guessed? Not me, Hazukashi. Magician's Rod. Okay, what are they going to search out with Magician's Rod? <gasps> are they going to search out a Magic Circle? They did. They searched out a Magic Circle, guys. Amazing. I guessed it. I'm a genius. They're going to activate Magic Circle. Okay, I'll let them resolve it because I want to destroy their eternal soul. Did you see the ultimate offer in retrain? Nope. But they finally reveal the details of it. They're another magician salvation that lets them search out an eternal soul from their deck. Wow, what an excellent add off the top. I wonder if DP is going to allow me to destroy it. Monster Reborn. Oh my god. They're going to special summon the Dark Magicians? Okay. Two salvations. <laughs> Here comes Monster Reborn. To bring back the Dark Magicians. That doesn't proc their effects because it needs to be Dark Magician specifically. Come on, use Eternal Soul. Do it, damn it. Okay, then they're going to use Soul Servant in the Graveyards to draw two cards. Not three, because they don't have a uh, the other card. Okay, and then they're going to draw one more card, and then set it if it's a spell or trap card. In which case, they can activate it this turn if it is a quick play and or trap card. Looks like they decided to keep it in their hand, so it's probably a monster. Eternal Soul, there it is. Special Summon, no. We're going to activate Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, idiot. What do you have? Do you have something in your hand you can use? Doubtful. Okay, DPE will target itself and Eternal Soul. Eternal Soul will not resolve and also destroy all of his monsters. Okay, and then my DPE will resolve in the graveyard. Hopefully they don't have a graveyard disruption effect. Looks like they don't. He's playing DM and DMG now. I mean, Dark Magicians have a fusion card which protects their back row. I'm not sure why he's not going into it. The DPE harassment. DPE is hard carrying this deck right now. Okay, Dark Magician and then Dark Magician Girl. <gasps> oh no! That lets them use Dark Magic Circle in order to banish my monster on the field. Hopefully they banish my back row instead. If they banish my monster, then I lose. I'm dead. I can't believe after all of that. Oh! I can use Link Karibo. I might be saved. <laughs> No, I'm still screwed. Because <laughs> they're going to summon another card from the deck. No, I'm not saved. They're going to summon another card. Yeah, they get another Dark Magician. Reminded me of the anime? What do you mean? You guys remember when Dark, when the Sad Violin was cheap and you guys would spam it all the time? So I can lower the attack of one of them to zero, but then the other two is still going to have more than 2,700 points of damage, and I have three of the kind face down. Ebon Illusion Magician. Okay, no need to fucking flex on me. I was going to let you finish with your goddamn Dark Magicians, but fuck you. 
Well, it's 5k now? Hell yeah, bring back cheap violin. And now you guys are annoying me. Okay, well, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you don't win some. It's all fine. Bring it back, meow. No. Saying F you that hard? No, I didn't say F you, I said, you know, pluck you. That's the first time you rage? I would never rage at a video game. It's just a game. Relax, bros. <gasps> Reinforcements of the army. What are they going to add? Junk converter. Oh, no. Are they playing junks? Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> Why is it always anonymous? Junk speeder? Are they going to special summon five monsters from the deck? Oh, family talk was redeemed? Okay, family talk while they combo off. Hmm... What could you say to someone offering you cigarettes and or drugs? Just say no. Heck no. I mean, obviously. Who the hell's offering their very expensive drugs out to me? Holy shit. Hi, Mr. Logs. Did you celebrate Rosa Me Day today? Of course I did. Power Tool Dragon. Wait, they didn't add anything? Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Oh, now they have a monster negate. Arrival in Light. Excellent. I love that I went second against a combo deck without any hand traps. Ooh, I'm sure I'll be able to break this board with this hand that has a garnet in it. New Crystal Beast comes out tomorrow. It's tomorrow? Ooh. Doesn't going fast make you feel alive? No. I thought it was the 8th. TG Hyper Librarian. I'm not sitting through their fucking combos. Okay, let's go for another try. Let him play? No! I can't play through those negates. I don't even have a good hand. Gold tier, am I right? I remember one time I sat through an Ogdoadix player. Ogdoadic. He was playing Ogdoadic reptiles and he comboed for days. And then ended on like three negates. However, before he went to his very end board, I thought, okay, I have no idea what combo he's doing, but I want to see him do it. And then he ended on three negates. And I was like, god damn it. He was just doing normal goddamn combos. Okie dokie. I show Fusion Destiny response. Oh no, it's Ash Blossom. Should have ended on Obelisk. My Ogdoatics don't end on three negates. He was just playing like a combo deck. And drew like literally the perfect goddamn hand. Add a poly from deck to hand. One set card. Pass. Oh boy, I hope my opponent draws literally no interactions with this board. Thanks for the sub. It's your boy Azelio. Resubscribe for 10 months. I still haven't been able to pull off the main combo of this deck. I just want to use three of a kind a single time. Why is that so impossible? Oh, <gasps> punks. 
the fusion punk first. Do they have a punk card in their hand? Of course they do. They wouldn't be using this otherwise. They'll use this, go into the fusion punk, get out two other punks. With its effect, it special some of them from the deck. Then they'll send all my cards in the field back to my hand. And then they'll summon out Psychic and Punisher and then OTK. Okay, I lost. Fuck, I didn't want to save that fucking duel. I hate accidentally hitting the save duel button. Okay. I just need to draw a better hand. <laughs> There were so many times at the exact moment, and they just summoned Bishbalkin, WTF man, all these new combos lines just for that. Yeah, combo decks. If you combo for days, and then just end on an Appalooza, Borload Savage Dragon, and one other negate, I'm just like, why? What is the perfect hand for you? One that doesn't get Ash Blossomed. <gasps> Reinforcements of the army. His name is Blood D. Is he playing heroes? Doesn't look like he's playing heroes. ZS Ascended Sage. Dodo -do Dwarf. Go 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 Glove. Which is notable for having the same stats as the Ghost Girls. It's the Utopic FTK. Number 39, Utopia Double. To search up Hyper Rank Up Magic. Because of the effect of ZS Ascended Sage. Okay, and then they're going to add Double or Nothing, and then Rank Up into a Utopia card. Oh my god, it's Destruction Potion FTK. Either that or the Rongo Barian combo. Ooh, okay. Then they go into Utopia. And then they go into Utopia Prime. Rank up magic. Into Utopia Dragonar. That's what it's called, right? Dragonar. Okay, and then they're going to attach a ZW card. Your opponent cannot target with card effects. Okay, so he can't be hand trapped. Okay, then they're going to detach two materials to special summon Harp Hobringer. <gasps> Wait, they are real? Okay, Harp Hobringer. Wait, that's not ex Utopia FTK. Where's the FTK? I was promised an FTK. Okay, first I'm going to use King of the Swamps in order to bait out some kind of interaction. No FTK? Do they have an Ash Blossom and Joy Spring? If they do, that would be pretty bad. It starts the same as the FTK? Why didn't they go into the FTK? They went first, so no FTK. Cool. Then I can use Vishuda to bounce the Hope Harbinger. If you control all monsters, special summon Vishuda from your hand? Yes. They didn't feel like it. Maybe they didn't have Destruction Potion. Maybe he wants to actually play the game. Who knows? <gasps> Act as effect. Wait, what are they doing? That's not a negate, right? That just summons a card from the deck. Oh, uh, okay. You go into Stealth Dragon. Wait, they can do that? Well, shit. That sucks. You're actually playing Stealth Kragen. Does this card have any, like, battle-related effects? Special summon one number monster between 101 and 100 in its name. You can activate this effect. Other monsters you control can attack directly. All special summon extra deck X these monsters. Wait, is he letting it go through? Okay. Is this the right stream where there's more than 10 Garnets? I removed three of them, so now I'm only running seven garnets. 
And I didn't draw into any of them. Okay, if they let this resolve, then I can use Vishuda to bounce their Hope Harbinger. <gasps> okay, they're going to use Stealth Kragan to destroy it. I take 500 damage, and then I can Normal Summon Seed. Enter the battle phase, crash into Hope Harbinger. Uses effect in order to put a cubic counter on it. Unless they have... Are you fucking kidding me? Numbers protection too? Oh my goodness gracious. This will just get negated. Utopia control? What's with these archetype omni negates? I know, right? Your opponent has drawn cards? Wait, I could use Necrofusion? Ooh, what can I go into? <gasps> Mirror Jade? Oh, right! I got a King of the Swamp in the grave. <laughs> I forgot about this. Oh, right! Yeah, this, this deck can go into Mirror Jade. Okay, so I have one um, destruct. I have one non-target banish, and if they destroy it, then all their cards get destroyed during the end phase. Yay! That's actually amazing. I know, right? What are they gonna do? I can't target this card, but that's fine. I don't need to target it. All I need to do is destroy Hope Harbinger. Can you banish? Yeah, I have a, a Titini clad in my extra deck. See, right here. I have exactly one banish. And I have one target to search out of my deck with it. That's one of my seven garnets. Okay, Stealth Kragan. Activate Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, sending Titani clad, the Ash Dragon, to the graveyard. No, I don't want to use the other effects yet. Mirror Jade. I have to get rid of the spell negate. And then they're going to destroy my Ice Blade Dragon, which will activate its effect in the graveyard to destroy all their cards during the end phase. Okay, and then it's their turn, main phase. <gasps> Battle phase. Are they going to attack with their card? Activate Metaverse. Hopefully they don't have a negate for this. Oh my god, they had Ash Blossom. Are you kidding me? Ash Blossom. So many negates. What the hell? Giant ballpark. It never comes out unless my opponents are just hamboning it. Here, we'll play one more cubic ascension. I'm going to remove Ashuna and Shathana. Only playing Vishuda. We still have the Necro Fusions. We still have three of a kind. This can still work if I just believe. Add a pot. A pot of what? I don't have room for a pot. I'm also going to remove Demise of the Land. And with how many cards I go into, I can still just leave Pot of Avarice. It works. It works. It's just they got lucky with that Ash Blossom. How many negates did I play through? I played through one Disruption, one Negate, but not the second Negate. I wasn't able to play through three. Out of Generosity? No. I'm playing Pot of Avarice. Thanks for the thousand bits, that man 666. Why not Trap Tricks? Trap Tricks what? A disruption and a negate. I was doing so well. I almost won. It was the f f freaking Ash Blossom, my worst enemy. I hate Ash Blossom so much. I can't believe they negated my cubic seed. That was some bullshit. 
They did zero searches the whole duel. It was all starting hand rules. <laughs> well, they had to search out the the rank up magic card. So they set one card and passed. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to bounce whatever that face down card is. I'll special summon Vishuda from the hand. They're going to activate Maxi. Fuck. Well, never mind. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go into Vishuda. And then I'll use Fusion Destiny. And hope and pray for a miracle. Destiny or destroy Phoenix Enforcer. Okay, and then we'll normal summon Shiny Skuldron. And then we'll attack with all these for 15, 2,000, and 2,500. Okay, then we activate DPE to destroy itself and this card. And then activate its effect in the graveyard. Main phase two. <gasps> Ooh, I can use Pot of Avarice on the next turn. I'm not going to give him any more card draws. Imagine if it was Stormy Mirror Force. Man, that would suck. Good thing it wasn't. Activate Draw Hands effect. Uh, sure, whatever. Activate Draw Hands effect to draw each player one card. Sure, why not? <gasps> Ooh, I drew into one of my seven Garnots. Okay, and then Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. Wow, amazing. What's up next? How are they going to deal with my board of three monsters which do nothing on the board by themselves? And exactly one disruption effect. Hello? Hello there. Parlor Dragon Maid is out. They send a Larpoir from their deck to the graveyard. They had a Guard Dragon Cataclysm on the field, which bodes well for me because that's not the best card in the world. The one disruption has been carrying the deck. <laughs> They're going to go into Changeover. Okay. Changeover to go into Shio. That's fine. I can just bounce it with Vishuda on my next turn. They're going to use both of those cards to go into Dragon Mage. She Oh, in the extra monster zone for no reason. Wow, I love it when they put in the extra monster zone for literally no reason. And then Archifiend Staff. What? They're going to lower the attack of all my monsters by 1,000 points? What if I destroy your card instead? Or bait out the negate? Okay, it gets destroyed. Then it special summons out Chamber. No, House Dragon Maid. Okay, activate DP in the graveyard. Is this Duel Links? I know, right? That card is a, a UR in Duel Links for no reason. All it does is lower the attack of all my monsters. Lose attack equal to half the equipped monster's attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. Wow. Are you playing against Tina? Probably. Whoa, Polymerization? Ooh, okay, let's special summon DPE. <gasps> I think I got this. All I have to do is go into Monk of the Tenyi. And then just bounce the card. Easy peasy. I could guard into Guardian Chimera, or I can just attack. Good going, DPE, the Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, for winning me one more game. However, I'm not winning any of my games with the goddamn giant ballpark bullshit because it never comes out. <laughs> Hard carried by DPE, not carried enough if my opponent gets out a whole bunch of negates and then just ash blossoms it. First to go. 
Why does everyone and their mom have back row removal for my giant ballpark? I think the reason why giant ballpark used to work when I played it in the past was because I ran a whole bunch of floodgates. Ooh, fusion destiny. DPE. Ooh, I opened fusion destiny. And branded fusion. Okay, and then I'll normal summon shiny black sea squatters so I can use fist of the unrivaled tenyi. And I have nothing else. I have no other cards. DP is the best insect. He is the best insect. I can't believe how much DPE is winning all of these duels for me. I knew it was a good idea to add DPE. Ooh, and then draw hand. I get another card. Yay. Activate draw hand. Yes, I'll give my opponent one more card to break my board. <gasps> Ooh, a cubic seed. Excellent. That's what I wanted. A garnet. The second DP for Necrofusion. I'm not playing the second one anymore. I think I took it out. Otherwise, you're right. That would have been an excellent use of DPE. Unfortunately for them, DP is very hard to get rid of. Especially since I have one Disruption and one Negate thanks to Fists of the Unrivaled Tenyi. <gasps> Harpy's Feather Duster! I'm going to let this go through. I want to go into Ultimate Dragon. <laughs> yes. Fist of the Unrivaled Tenyi. Special Summon the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Wait. Defense Mode. He has 3,800 defense. There's no beating over that. Is DPN hard once per turn? It is a hard once per turn. So you wouldn't be able to use the other ones. Oh my god. Raigeki. Damn it! They had a Raigeki too? I fucking wasted it. Wait, is this another Dragon Maid player? <laughs> my, my Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I was so excited to use him and then he got rid of him. Kitchen Dragon Maid. Okay, what's next? Reborn? I can't believe they drew into Harpy's Feather Duster and a Raigeki going second. All my cards. A complete board wipe. Hopefully they can't win this turn. Dragon Maids, if they pop off, can absolutely win in one turn, though. I have 8,000 life points and no protection because they Raigeki'd my board. <gasps> and I had the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, too. <laughs> you made them draw into it? <laughs> Probably. You made them Shid and or Fard? All they're doing is going into a single Dragon Maid. They don't even have changeover. But they do have Gargonic Cataclysm. Is this just like the starter deck or something? Kitchen isn't the best at starting combos. They do have changeover. Why don't they just go into Shio in the first place? Oh, because they probably didn't have a card for it. They need to enter the battle phase to get a level 7 or higher monster on the field. Okay, and then they're going into Shio. Awesome. Feather Duster isn't in the starter. Oh, so they added Feather Duster and a Raigeki to it then. Because I bet Raigeki's not in the starter either. World Legacy Guard Dragon. They special summon a level 4 or lower dragon monster from the graveyard. Wait, why are they doing it now? It's a hard once per turn on its effect. There's no reason for that. They can't do anything. That's a waste of a card. Outskilled by Dragon Maids and the two one copies. Shut up. Cubic Seed, activate Dasher. <gasps> Are they going to negate it? Thanks for the gifted sub, Terabyte79. Cubic Seed, if I crash into Shio. 
I can negate its effects on the field, which will let me use DPE to destroy it. Wow, another Garnet. Exactly. Looks like his attack went down by 200 points. Infinite Impermanence? God damn it, they're going to force the activation of my DPE. Well... Okay, whatever. And then they're going to activate Dragon Mage Shieo. In order to go into House Dragon Maid. Awesome. Activate DP in the graveyard. Yes. Okay. Well. Hmm. Give me a second. My only link to currently is Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. If I go into that, then I can't do anything. Because if I use a fusion, I would only have two cards in the field, Predator Plant Verte and Nexus in my hand. So ideally what I want to do is just attack with Cubic Seed, have it destroyed so I'm not like vulnerable to a whole bunch of damage on my next turn. You only have one Necro Fusion? No, I have two of them. You know what? I'll just set the card. I've remembered. I don't need to worry about that. End phase. Damn, gifted sub for 10 months already. Can you not fusion Destiny into another DPE? I don't have another DPE, otherwise I would. Destiny Hero, destroy your Phoenix Enforcer. Activate Destiny Hero, destroy your Phoenix Enforcer. Destroy this card and this one. Activate Destiny Hero, destroy your Phoenix Enforcer in the graveyard, yes. Ooh, no standby phase shenanigans for you. Wait, how come my standby phase effect went off before their standby phase effect? They drew into Return of the Dragon Lords. I'm pretty sure they can't summon out their fusions because they're too high level. Also, this one was not brought out properly, so they can't special summon it anyway. DP should be banned? Heck no. DP is allowing me to win. DPE is breaking his back by carrying this deck. <laughs> you have to admit... DPE, I've been winning a lot more duels ever since I added him to the deck. Ban Verte. They're going to go into another Shieo. Ooh, Shieo. Also, ban Maxi. No, don't ban Maxi. Maxi did nothing wrong. We need Maxi to balance the game. Okay, they're going to attack into my Cubic Seed. I'll use Cubic Seed's effect to try to negate his effect, or at the very least, bait out the negate. Come on, Cubic Seed, you can do this. I believe in you. Oh, <gasps> They're letting it go through? Do they not understand how this works? Your Shio is useless now. I win. You've been completely hand-boned, you absolute buffoon. Yeah, now he's negated. Ooh, Polymerization! I can just go into Guardian Chimera and win. Special Summon... <laughs> Destiny Hero, destroy your Phoenix Enforcer! <clears throat> Activate Shieo, but your effect is negated. <laughs> Flip Summon, Cubic Seed. Special Summon, Cubic Seed. From the Spell and Trap card zone. Response? You can't respond because your effect's negated. Ban IP Mascarina. I'm sick of people linking my DX. What? Wait until he finds out about Unchained. Okay. Then we go into Cubic Seed. Then I have to convert one of them into a different name for Guardian Chimera. Link Karibo. Then activate Polymerization. Response, do you have an Ash Blossom, that non-existent hand of yours? Guardian Chimera, we'll choose Cubic C, Link Karibo, and Nexus. Yay! Still no three of the kind and or 
other stuff. The invisible hand trap. Believe in Nexus? Nexus is a brick. They're gonna try to activate the negate? That ain't gonna work. Your effect is negated, you absolute buffoon. Draw one card, select two cards to destroy. <gasps> Ooh, it's Petite Moth. Wait, what? Ooh, Petite Moth. <laughs> Special summon out. Link Spider. Link Spider! Okay, I need to get rid of this card. So we're gonna target this one and this one. Okay, and then we go for some big damage. It's spider time. I just use the spider so I can get one more card in the graveyard. So that I can use them for future turns. But I think I've already won the game. Yeah, the spider just came out in order to get another monster in the grave for future avarice plays or future, like, nexus plays if I somehow get that card back in my hand. <gasps> Nurse Dragon Maid? Oh, that is an excellent starter. The spider got sacrificed. Holy shit. Yeah, that lets him use kitchen and then that lets him use kitchen to get another card in the graveyard. What a draw, <laughs> yeah. Because the thing is, I can't disrupt this board because they can just enter the battle phase depending on what cards are in the grave. Wait, wait, this one summons a level seven. Do they have a level seven? They can get a level seven. If they don't get a level seven, they got a level seven. Okay, it's gonna go to the graveyard and then if they go into the battle phase, they're gonna get both of those cards back or they can use changeover. Are they gonna use changeover first? <gasps> DPE is really one of the best fusions ever made. It is. DPE is my best friend. Battle phase. Uh-oh. They're going to get both of their cards back to the hand. Um, Sure, whatever. I could stop one of them. Okay. The other one might be strong enough to take out DPE. So I should probably just do this now. Right? What is the attack points on it? I don't want to think. I think it's 2800. Or 2700. Either way, it's strong enough. Yeah, 2700. Strong enough to crash into DPE. And that would have given them one more card in the hand if they did it. The Dragon Maid player is trying their best, right, Meow? They are trying their best. And they're going to get out a Shio. Okay, they can use Changeover to get Uranus back. And then they can use it to go into Shiao if they have another one. Oh, they do have another one because it returns itself to the deck. But I could just bait out Shiao with uh, DPE, so it's not really that big a deal. Okay, and then they're going to go into Dragon Mage Shiao. Uh-oh, one more negate against my Guardian Chimera. Just pass your turn. Let me go into DP and destroy you. Does he have a third maid, though? <gasps> Probably. Draw a card. Fist of the Rival Tenyi. Can't use that. Standby phase. I go first. Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. And then immediately use his effect so that I can stop him from using his effect. Activate DPE. Are you going to activate Dragon Mage Shieo? They are, they are using Dragon Mage Shieo. And they're going to negate the effect, destroy the card, return themselves to the extra deck, and then bring out House. Which is weaker than my Guardian Chimera. Why didn't you attack? Attack what? Okay, and then we attack. Goodbye, Guardian. And then we set Fist to the Unrival. Ten ye and pass. 1900 life points left. Shio special summons in standby phase. I don't that's why I got rid of it during the standby phase so they couldn't use Shio's effect. Because DP just comes back again, baby. Oh my god, this card is carrying so hard right now. You have no idea. 800 life points in a dream. They can't they drew the perfect card last time and it wasn't good enough. Max C. Yep. They've lost. 
How many duels ago was par- <laughs> I'm still on the ballpark deck! <laughs> this is why I added an engine, so that I can win outside of the fucking ballpark, which I never drew into. Or if I did draw into a way to search it, they would just ash blossom it, or if it got on the field, they would just destroy it before entering the battle phase. Ballpark is just not in the cards. Hmm. Whoa, what's this deck? Laundry, Trap, Melfi, Tri Sprite. Ooh, let's play this. Deck selected. Laundry, Trap, Tri Sprite. Why does it look like a ballpark deck? Then? I got rid of ballpark. Ballpark was yesterday. Today is um, Tri Sprite. I have a question. How necessary is Lord of the Heavenly Prison a Labyrinth deck? I don't want to spend 90 UR jewels to craft three because I'm a cheap. Oh, excellent question, Speedroy Terratop. You don't need to run them at all. It's not even optimal. I hope I answered your questions. What was Petite Mothmore? It was for my hopes and dreams. Ooh. Ooh, I can do something with this hand, probably. Pot of Extravagance. Yeah, it's a tech option at best. A Labyrinth doesn't need to protect their back row. You just go plus like crazy when you pop off. You just need to pop off a single time in order to win. Okay, end phase. Awesome. They did literally nothing for their turn. That's cool. <gasps> Ooh, I can get Kalantonis in the graveyard and Alpha the Master of Beasts onto the field. Oh, wait. Do they need to have face-up cards? Oh, it's based on attack points. Send one other winged beast monster you control to the graveyard. We'll send Alpha to the grave, because I can't use it. When's the new Melfi's Konami? <gasps> That's so true, they haven't put the new Melfi's in the game yet. Well, if they put the new Melfi's in the game, then everybody would be playing Melfi's because they're so good. Obliterate? Uh oh, target one monster in the field, send one forbidden one monster or Exodia card from your hand deck or graveyard, and if you do, return the target card to the hand. And if this card is sent from the spell trap goes into the graveyard, you can target one forbidden one monster cards in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Okay, I have Keras. Are they going to use Obliterate to bounce it as a spell speed 2 effect? Obliterate is actually a pretty good card. The only problem is you have to run 5 Garnets to use it. <gasps> I still have my normal summon. Okay, well, let's special summon Destrudo the Lost Dragon's Frizzon. The upcoming pack also has no Melfi or anything remotely interesting for that matter. I know, it's so sad. Okay, Lost Dragon's Frizen. Are you going to obliterate my field or not? No? Ooh. Okay, well, we'll special summon Kalantonis. New pack has a Shizu stuff. Yeah, they have a Shizu stuff and the Crystal Beast garbage. Wait, do they have the good Crystal Beast garbage or the bad Crystal Beast garbage? I don't remember. Let's see. Uh, once per turn, when your opponent activates a Spell Trap card or effect, you can reduce this card's level by two to destroy it. <gasps> yes, please. The Shizu stuff is trash without tier, though. No, it's not. The FTK Crystal Beast garbage? Wait, Crystal Beast has an FTK? Obliterate! Cool, I can negate it. With my FA Don Dragster. <laughs> Ooh, I can go into Sprite Elf, or I can use Caress in order to banish two cards to special summon. A double dragon lord. 
<gasps> and then I can use them to go into gigantic sprite. <laughs> Why'd they quit? Ooh, I ranked up to gold tier four. Oh. You did a good job. Why, thank you. I live for your approval. I don't know how you get ultimate crystal to 1100 on turn one, but it sounds neat. You don't. That sounds made up. It's literally propaganda. The advanced, the advanced crystal beasts are so advanced. They are. The advanced crystal beasts are so advanced. It's crazy. Okay. Ooh, obedience school. That's an excellent opener. <gasps> Ooh, and they're letting it go through. Caddy, puppy, and Kalentosa. One, two, three. Cool. And then we can use all of them to go into Joyous Melfi. One, two, three. Hello, Duologs. How are you? Good. Joyous Melfi. Okay, and then we'll just set one card and pass. TTTV in the name? Wait, what does TTTV mean? No Ash? I'm shocked. That's the only way I could see an OTK possible. Those bad cards is a 4,000 beat stick with a 7,000 boost. What? Okay, Joyous Melfies. They summoned Una Zombie. Now I can use Joyous Melfi to return them to the extra deck. Special summon all three of them to the field with their effects turned on. It means Twitch TV, you literal Twitch streamer. How is that what that means? <gasps> is he advertising his Twitch, Vaso? Oh my god, now they're using Algol in order to protect it? Didn't realize Leah had a new emote. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty neat. It's a preview of her new outfit. <laughs> oh my god, Algol. Activate Melfi Caddy? Yes. Activate Melfi Puppy? Yes. What's up, Yu-Gi-Oh? Love the hot Yu-Gi-Oh action? Why, thank you. I too love hot Yu-Gi-Oh action. Special summon a card to the field? Yeah, I'm gonna special summon... Um, I'm gonna special summon, um, do I have any in the card in the graveyard? No, I don't. Wait, what does this one do? Special summon a beast from your hand? Okay. And then caddy, and then we'll use caddy in order to add hop your squadron to my hand. All right, come on, do something else. I need to use Fenny in order to special summon Kalentosa from my hand. That way you can use his effect to pop one of your cards. I love playing during my opponent's turn. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. Unizombie is activating its effects. That's not going to proc my cards. I need you to summon cards so I can do stuff. Okay, target one face up monster you control. <gasps> oh, I can use Hop Your Squadron. To chain to Kalentosa. In order to go into... A Herald of the Arc Light. Yeah, it's our turn. You idiot, you absolute buffoon. Any monster sent from the hand or main deck into the graveyard is banished instead. <laughs> oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> what card did they banish? Necro World Banshee. Oh no, they were trying to go into Zombie World. But now they can't because it got banished. And I still have an Omni Negate. They have to enter the battle phase in order to get rid of it if they want to continue. Because it has that sweet little 1000 attack. Wait, does this card summon itself in defense position? Yeah, it does. So they couldn't choose to put it in attack position. Yeah, Hazukashi. I can't believe they've fallen for such a blunder. If it were me, I would be so embarrassed right now. What are they going to do, zombies? You're losing to these cute little cats. Oh, they're into the battle phase so they can destroy Herald of the Arc Light. I knew you would do that. You're predictable. Fraudulent? 
<gasps> Ooh, I can use this to destroy it. Thank you. You think he's stream sniping? No, that's just the logical play. Mate time, here you go. Frolian, okay. And then they can use Unizombie to redeclare the attack. If they go into Fenny, then I can destroy it. Activate Fenny. Special summon a card from your hand. Yes, please. We'll special summon Kalantosa in order to pop Unizombie. How nice of them. He attacked the Fenny. Don't you know you can't attack them? Otherwise, they just return to the hand because they're playing hide and seek. <gasps> Gamma burst. Ooh. I can totally pop off right now. Special summon jet. And I already have the card in hand that lets me do anything. Okay. Special summon. Ooh. I can go into chaos ruler. <gasps> yeah, you tell him, Pomu. Let's see, detach, add a Melfi card from your deck to your hand. Yes, please. Mr. Logs is a worthless redeem. I don't do those until the duel is over. Use Melfi of the Forest. We need to get another one of these in the graveyard. Special summon. Melfi hide and seek to the hand. Okay, then we can activate Melfi hide and seek. How many do we have in the grave? We have three. That's not enough. I need to get one more in the graveyard. How do I get one more of these cards in the graveyard? I don't think I can. <gasps> Unless I go into Frigit. Nope. Can I go into Elf? I can go into Elf. Okay, we can go into Elf. Uh, you cannot summon... Okay, first, Tri Brigade Kit. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay, then we go into Shirai. <laughs> Activate Shirai. I fear no god. Okay, then we activate Elf to lock me into cards for the rest of the turn. Go into Sprite Jet. And then we attack for maximum damage. Wait, do I have something else I can do? <gasps> I can go into Plague Spreader Zombie. Plague Spreader will send Fenny back. Normal summon it to the field. Okay, and then we attack. You've declared battle? Yes, we'll use Gamma Burst to buff them all up. That's game over. What's he cooking? I'm going for lethal damage. I didn't even need Shirai. Whoa. Well, that's my Melfi deck. Melfi Sprite Tri Brigade. Okay, that one worked pretty well. I didn't get to use the actual laundry trap. See, like, this is once per chain if a monster is summoned, you can send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. What I wanted to do was send cards to the graveyard so I get, like, Destrito or Plague Spreader in the graveyard to use them. That was it. Also, Gamma Burst has a graveyard effect, too. That's why he's in there. Yeah, this deck's pretty good. I never got to use the main card of it, but I got to use other stuff. Okay, well, um, Worthless Redeem for who? Thakius? Thakius. You're absolutely worthless, you piece of garbage. I hope you get hit by two buses and then have soggy socks and then have a bad day. <gasps> and then a family talk question. Can you post that on the bird app? Sure. What is your favorite family tradition from your childhood? Uh, my favorite family tradition for my childhood would have to be when, on on Christmas, we would all get together at my grandma's house, my great-grandma's house, and it would be all the family, and we have a huge, huge-ass family. It was great. It was a good, fun family reunion because my grandmother had nine other siblings, and they would all get together <laughs> with their families. Eat the youngins. Okay, well, I am... Gonna take a small little break, and then we'll come back for more duels. Enjoy the ad. Hi. Have you ever tried DMing someone, but they just won't message you back? Why? Why won't they do that? You type the message. Hi. Don't they know that it's their job to talk back to you? 
it's their job to come up with conversation topics. If, if you do this, let's think of ways that you can stop and be a better online conversationalist. So, hi, hello. Have you ever messaged these before to someone or in someone's Discord server? If so, here's why this is a bad thing to do. You see, when you talk to someone in real life, if you're talking to someone on voice chat, saying hi is a perfectly fine thing to do. The reason it's fine in those situations is because you know the person's there and that they can respond to you immediately. However, in an online setting, in text, there is no guarantee that they're there and willing to talk to you in the first place. If someone messaged me hi, I don't think, wow, a great conversation is about to happen. I just think, oh boy, what do they want? So instead, you could just message what you want. Hi, what's up? Any idea when you'll be done with that project? Hey, what's up? I'm bored. Do you want to play Overwatch with me? Instead of just saying hi, add on what you actually want from the person. Do you just want to talk because you're bored? Tell them. People appreciate the honesty. It gives you more character rather than just saying hi. Hey, what's up? So I was sitting over here procrastinating for my job, and I was just thinking, huh, wouldn't it be awesome if you read the script for me, Meow? I shouldn't say that. So this allows the other person to respond at your leisure if you tell them exactly why you're messaging them. If you just say hi, then they're kind of held hostage. They're like, oh boy, I don't know what they want. It could be anything. It could be boring. It could just be them like, I'm busy. Like, I don't have time to engage in the conversation. And sometimes the other person doesn't have a conversation. If you say hi and you respond back, what's up? They'll be like, oh, nothing much. Oh, God, I cannot think of anything worse than that. They're like, oh, so you're bored and you want me to come with the conversation? Wow, original. Hey, man, what's up? Also, any idea when this thing's due? Hi there. Hope you're well. I'm after the loss of deck. When you've got a second. Hey, if you're not busy, could you update me on your progress on your script? These are much better ways to start conversations online. Or in, like, public Discord servers. Don't just go hi. Tell them what you want. Hey there, Aqua Cat. It is a wonderful day. Would you wish to give me attention for five minutes? Thanks. Yours truly, the Duologues. Hi. Have you ever tried DMing someone... But they just three. What's the name of that other card? Same name. Three cards of the same name. Hmm. Ooh, machine duplication is a good way to do it. Man, tell me you send these messages to Meowie. What messages? Wait, what does the thing talk about? If your attacking monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, target one card in your graveyard, add it to your hand, but for the rest of his turn, you can activate monsters with respect to the same name. You have to pick one more turn. Hello, fellow best colleague. Miwa, aren't you streaming right now? Or well, I guess you were earlier. I don't I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I guess you were earlier. I don't know. Why is it showing my own thing? Oh no, I'm checking my list. Let's see. I don't see you on the list. Okay, whatever. Colleague? Shut up. I'm thinking right now. I'm trying to think very hard. When this card is normal summon, excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do... Banish one excavated monster to add one monster with its same name to your hand. From either your deck or the other excavated cards. Also shuffle the rest into the deck once per turn. If this card's in your graveyard, because it's end of this turn. After being normal summoned, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, place them on the top of your deck in any order. Now I forgot I had a repairman coming over, so I have to end stream. <gasps> oh. Wait, why? Why can't you just have the repairman over while you're streaming? <laughs> Thanks for the prime sub, Chroma for life. Hello, video gamers and all others. What is the deck and how are these people doing? Today's deck is three of a kind ballpark cubic fusion tenyi. However, I'm going to remove the tenyis. I'm going to try to get the original thing to work again. 
It's embarrassing I have to leave my room? Oh, yeah, I guess playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is rather embarrassing. Hazukashi. Of the same name. Of the same name. Here it is. Subsurface Stage Divers. LOL, did he say Aqua Cat in the ad? No. No. Plain Yu-Gi-Oh! Hazukashi. Okay, so. Chat. Chroma for life, thanks for the sub. I already said that. I'm trying to think. I want to get off the cubic fusion part. So we want to add in triple Crimson Nova. And also, we want to add in Trinity. Let me just get rid of this. I never actually go into it. So I'm going to remove Vishuda. I'm going to remove the DPE shit because, like, that's boring. I need Giant Ballpark. But how do I resolve this card? I think I need to remove Petite Moth. Or I need to use Petite Moth in order to... Okay, so... Okay. So... All right, guys, so, all right, oh, my, my, my dudes will play two of these just so I have targets for this goddamn freaking cross out designator. Okay, guys, you should add Ra's Disciple because of the one card activator for three of a kind slash subsurface. It is, you're right. But it also locks me. <laughs> it locks me into everything. <laughs> but it does. It is a one card starter. Roz. Oops, I spelled that wrong. How do you spell disciple? Disciple. Oh, I forgot to check my messages. Yeah, it is. Manifest Halk into the deck for sheer force of wheel? Shut up. Inferno with the sampling could accomplish the same thing. Mm. It's harder to use, though. If you have any valid targets. Okay, I'm trying to think real hard with my big brain. Um, So that is a one card for that. Let's get rid of this. We do want Giant Ballpark, but we can't really use it. I do want to use three of a kind. I do like Fists of the Unrivaled Tenyi, but I don't need it, so we're going to cut it. We can get rid of one Cubic Ascension, one three of a kind, and then we have Trap Tricks in order to resolve the other stuff. Uh, we should probably just play more copies of Trap Trick and then get rid of some other cards, but we can't get rid of anything else because the rest of the deck is full of cards. I guess we don't need three Polymerizations. If we're playing three King of the Swamps, one of those will search it out. So we can cut one Pulverization, and then we can also just cut one Maxi, because we're usually just playing Ash Blossom for cross out Designator. We're just playing another copy, just in case we draw into it. Okay, three of a kind Ballpark Cubic Fusions. Version. V4. Lord of the Heavenly Sex Dungeon. Fuck, Lord of the Heavenly Prison is a good idea. But I don't have room for it. <laughs> Shut up. Stop suggesting things that I can't use. Security. Dragon. Okay. Hmm. Shouldn't Petit Moth be switched for Killer B? No. If we play Petite Moth, then we can use it to go into Link Karibo. How do you come up with so many deck ideas? Um, since this is my job, I just like write them down when I have them. I'll see a card like Three of the Kind, which is in a video that's going to come out soon. And I was like, ooh, I want to build a deck with this. So I thought, hey, maybe Giant Ballpark since it gives out three cards. And then I was looking through public decks and I saw one with Giant Ballpark but also had the cubic stuff. And uh, Subsurface Stage Divers. And I was like, oh my god, that's genius. So here we are, version 4 of Three of a Kind Ballpark Cubic Fusions, version 4. Did you see the VW hand loop? I have. I should write that down, I do want to play that.
Okay. What about Relinquish Anima? Shut up. Put in Oblis the Tormentor? Shut up. I got this. I'm a genius. Pot of Extravagance by my opponent whose name is Shoal. What are they going to do? Set one card, set two cards, and pass? Just set two cards, pass? Oh, is this full combo? Nope. It's not. Because <laughs> I don't have shit. <laughs> full combo? Full combo my ass. Slifer is better anyway. We'll use King of the Swamp to bait out an Ash Blossom. I already have Giant Ballpark in my hand, so it doesn't really matter. However, I do... No, Giant Ballpark can't be Ash Blossom because it activates during the damage step. <gasps> Ooh, I get add it. Okay, Polymerization. No bait. Oh, I have Call by the Grave. I don't got to worry about Ash Blossom. Grand Maju. I do have a Grand Maju deck. Except it's not a Grand Maju deck. Activate Giant Ballpark. Response. Shoal. No response. Wait, can a zero attack monster proc the effects of Giant Ballpark? <gasps> Solemn Judgment. It's a good thing I have two of them. Otherwise, I'd be pissed. Okay. The Light of God. Gotcha. Activate Giant Ballpark number two. Special Summon. Cubic Seed. Attack directly. To proc Giant Ball Park. Giant Ball Park. Hopefully this procs it. If it doesn't, I'm going to be super mad. I don't actually know if this works or not. Yeah, it doesn't work. Mm. I could have just gone into Link Karibo. In order to guarantee some battle damage. But I didn't. Well, at least if they attack me, then I can proc it. Yeah, the ballpark hate. End phase. Huh. <gasps> they have nothing? Oh my god, another seed. Oh my goodness gracious, another seed. Okay, we'll go into Link Karibo. And then oh, I can go into Guardian Chimera. Yay! Unless they stop this. They got the Mirror Force? I hope not. If they do, I have Guardian Chimera, which can pop all their cards. Well, I mean, it can pop one of them, and then I can draw two more cards. In the rightmost zone, which is the most safest. And also, he can't be targeted by card effects right now. Okay, they can Ash Blossom this, but I also have Called By. They're thinking real hard on that strike. Oh no, you think they have Solemn Strike? I'm so close to getting off my combo, except the fact that I don't have any of my combo pieces. Oh fuck. Ice Dragon's Prison. This is a beast. I don't have any beast in my graveyard. I'm fine. Thanks for the two gifted subs, Cthulhu1616. They gotta think real hard about this one. Imagine they have all three strikes. Wait, actually if they... S no, the effect is negated, so it doesn't really matter. And a Forbidden Droplet. Oh, that's why they're using it, so they can have it as a material for my Guardian Chimera. I can still destroy it though, right? Oh no, I can't destroy anything. I'm not going to be able to draw any cards. God damn it. Fucking shit. Well, whatever. I can still do this. And not proc my fucking giant ballpark. <sighs> Why? Why do they keep stopping my giant ballpark from working?
Why do they hate progress? Damn it! One of my bricks. <laughs> an Ash Blossom. They had an Ash Blossom this whole time and never used it? I mean, my card is still untargetable, so he's doing good, but my opponent is playing a lot of non-targeting stuff. Another Pot of Extravagance. Okay. What are they cooking? Finally caught the dual lives live. Hello there, dual logs live. Bricks. Do you think he bricked too with all these fucking staples? He literally is only playing staples. I have no idea what his deck is. I haven't seen a non-staple out of any of the fucking cards and they refuse to give me something to freaking activate my goddamn giant ballpark. Oh, it's subterrors. Have they not drawn into any floodgates? <gasps> That'd be 3,600 right now. Is it guru control? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, subterrors. They need one guru for full combo? How have they not drawn into one Guru out of all of these goddamn turns? Wait, can Guru beat over Guardian Chimera? Oh my god. My ballpark, it's been here for nine turns and I haven't been able to use it a single time. Freaking this Harpy's Feather Duster. Final Guru is 3,400. Is it 34? Yeah, I knew it was more than 3,300. Uh, what does Ballpark do? It summons three cards from the deck. Final Battle, 100 points more than mine. Wait, they could have just attacked me. One of these days, Ballpark will be useful. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know why they didn't attack on their other turn. They could have just destroyed Guardian Chimera. Out of fiendness? Damn it, now they have a negate. And I'm too weak to beat over Guru because he has 100 more attack with that final battle. I guess it's not baseball season. Uh, prevented me from drawing two cards off of Guardian Chimera. Might have killed me there. Normal summon, max C. Okay, whatever. Flip it in itself face down so it can use its effect to flip back up and then search out another negate. Another fiendness. The fiendness is live since I called by the other one a long time ago. Another final battle. Now they can finally attack into Guardian Chimera. Increases attack and defense by double. Or, I mean, by his defense. Activate Cubic Ascension. Get negated, but it will flip down their... Oh my god. Ash Blossom. Oh my goodness gracious. I can't believe they screwed me out of that for so long. Uh, uh, freaking Harpy's Feather Duster. Uh. 
Where's the insect phoenix enforcer? Shut up. I'll ban all of you. Picoflina. And then we have one of these and one of these and one of these and one of these. And then a single copy of shot. And then a single copy of King of the Swamps. Or a single copy of Three of a Kind. Oh, we have three Trap Trick. Ooh. 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 I need to get rid of one card. Should I just get rid of Dogmatica Nexus? This card is useless most of the time. Although with all of these Dulahan stuff. This is what happens when you get some Oreo. Shut up. Um, I need one more card to go back. Oh, we'll just get rid of one of the Ash Blossoms. What? I have too many cards in my extra deck? Ugh. We'll get rid of First of the Dragons. Okay, now we're good to go. Guru with final battle. I can't believe I didn't draw into a single fucking monster for five turns. And then he kept having cards to set for five turns, so I wouldn't be able to proc my goddamn field spell a single time. I am riding a Karibo. Link Karibo. God damn it, I drew into two Garnets. Oh, wait. I'm playing Ash Blossom and Maxi not as cards to have in my hand, but as targets for Crossout Designator. I guess technically they're good cards to have in hand too. If I'm gonna have garnets, these are my best garnets. I don't want them though. <laughs> I don't want them in my hand. <laughs> Ooh, cool, I can stop an FTK. Get fucked, idiot. Wait, do they have an anti-FTK for my Ash Blossom? And he extravagates twice and still bricked? They have anti hand traps? Rias map, what are they going into? Ash Blossom gets banished. Okay, its effects negated. Prius Rias map gets. Is it Numerons? Probably Magical Library. I assume there is Search Not Magical Library, but usually Magical Library decks don't play Called By. I mean, I drew into so many of my Garnets. Infernities? Oh. Ooh. Into the Void. To draw one card. Yeah, max C time. Are they going to set all their cards and then go into Infernity? Infernity Necromancer. Once per turn, you can target one Infernity monster in your graveyard. But you have need to have no cards in your hand to use the effect. Oh, they had Infernity Archfiend in their hand. And no way to ditch it? Huh. Weird. Okay, King of the Swamp. We use this to search out a polymerization. Okay, then we normal summon Petite Moth. Then we activate polymerization. To go into Guardian Chimera. One, two, three. He bricked. How do you brick plane Infernities? Okay, then we use Guardian Chimera to pop one of his back row cards. Unless they have Infernity Barrier. Which would suck. But it wouldn't be the end of the world, because I have Trap Trick. Ooh, Draco Untopia! Fuck! Uh oh. Well, I still have this. Which I need to use immediately. Do I have anything good I can fusion summon for my graveyard? Yeah, I can go into Mirror Jade. I need to go into Mirror Jade immediately. Did they just fucking hard draw into Infernity Archifing? Oh my god. You've got to be kidding me. Um, Necrofusion. 
than my opponent at Destiny draws. <laughs> oh no, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Infernity Archfiend. They have another Infernity Archfiend in the graveyard. Isn't that card supposed to be limited? It's unlimited? That's fine, whatever. I want to play Infernities too. Okay, Necrofusion. We're going to go into Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, using Chimera and King of the Swamps. Infernity is going to search out a card. What are you going to search out? Wait, if I banish Necromancer, then they have no plays, right? Oh. <gasps> No, they still have an archery in the graveyard. So they have that creepy little punk. Wait, what does that card do again? Spells will summon one Infernity monster that is banished or in your graveyard. If a face of Infernity monster you control will be just leaves the field because upon its card effect, while this card is in your graveyard, you can set this card. Oh, god damn it. Does it banish it face down? It special summons the monster from the banish pile. I'm screwed. Mirror Jade isn't that broken. It is one form of disruption, but not good enough. He was ready for Mirror Jade? No, I mean like, I have it written down on my list to play Infernities with that creepy little punk since it just came out. I just didn't know it also special summoned from the banished pile. While you have no cards in your hand, banish one Infernity Monster from your graveyard, increase or decrease as ours all by one. It is a tuner. They can use both of those to go into a level 7. They can go into one with a negate pretty easily. Moonlit Droz Dragon. Uh oh, they're gonna send my card back to the deck. I guess I'll use it now. Santa Tinny Clad to the graveyard. Uh. Let's just get rid of that. And the effect doesn't proc since it was returned. Target one of your Infernity monsters that's banished or in your graveyard and special summon it. And Infernity Archifiend. Okay, I actually kind of want to see the combos, so I'm going to let them play it out. Infernity Launcher. This man had anime level draws. I mean, if he had anime level draws, he would have had a better first turn. He drew into two monsters and couldn't do anything. Yeah, let him cook. Infernity Launcher. He's going to use both of those cards to go into a Link Summon of Track Black. Why? Is it just to get them off the field? This doesn't do anything. This card is garbage. Do they want a Cybers monster on the field for some reason? Okay, then they get Infernity Archfiend and Infernity... Uh... What's his name? Necromancer back? So now their hard once per... Their, their once per turns are reset. Actually, Archfiend doesn't have once per turn. It's just like a condition. Every time you trigger it for update jammer, I think. It is Cyber, so I guess... Okay, Infernity Archifine, which one are they going to add to their hand? Wait, what copies is Launcher at? Two? So they can get out another Launcher. They just have to go for an OTK, so they're not really going to do too many combos. Dude showing cards I've never heard of before. You've never seen Infernity combos before? Just learn the combos? I will learn the combos through my opponent playing them. But that creepy little punk is a brand new card. I don't know why they called it that. Its Japanese name is definitely not that creepy little punk. <laughs> What's cards in your graveyard? Set this card. You only use this effect once per turn. That's a pretty good card. What card did they add? I wasn't paying attention. Barrier? Really? That's it? Localization moment? 
Why did they give it such a bad name, though? Vlogs doesn't need combos when he knows all the cards. I am a genius. Okay, Archfiend and Trackback. Deco Talker. Infernity Necromancer. Special summons a monster from the graveyard. There's two of them. Infernity Archfiend is going to use his effect again to search another card from the deck. <gasps> what are they going to search out? Another Infernity Launcher? As because one of the characters in the dub refers to the Infernity guy as that creepy little punk. Oh, is he the Infernity guy? Well, I missed what he added to his hand. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. It is Launcher. They need to put Launcher to three like it is in Duel Links. Decode Talker into an access code. Wait, they didn't do the other combo line? Target one Link monster to gain attack equal to its attack. Is this enough damage to win? 18 plus 53? Oh, that is damage. They can just use Launcher to win now. What do they have in the grave? Ooh. They have game on board already. And they get another proc of Infernity Archifiend. Okay, I don't think they're going to do any more stuff. That creepy little funky was Kalen from 5D's anime when he played an Infernity deck. I know it's Kalen because he's the dude from Duel Links. But, uh, I just didn't know, like, that was his reference. He overcooked. He had game. Archifiend was used six times in a single turn. Yeah, that's, that's infernities for you. Axis code players always overextend for no reason. I had no cards on the field. I just wanted to see his combos. I sincerely dislike people don't just kill me in the combo on board. Well, that's because it's fun to BM. I get it. It's fun to be toxic sometimes. It's hilarious. He had 7.1k, but that had let him have game. 7.1k? 18 plus 53. 6, 7. Oh, okay. He wasn't 8,000. I did my math wrong. Well, he had game after the second Infernity Archfiend. Infernity Launcher. Ooh, Dragon Shrine. Are they going to go into Jet Dragon? <gasps> Should I play Jet Dragon in this <laughs> No, they're playing Dragon Maids. They did that to just send freaking Chamber to the grave? Hospitality. This deck has enough bricks? Shut up. Special Summon Chamber. Wow. That two-card combo, man. Chamber to search over. What? Changeover? Yes. Changeover. Now they can go into Shiao. Changeover into Shiao. <gasps> I have three of a kind. I can blow up their field. Ooh. Red Eyes Darkness Metal. Wait. What? Why didn't they go into this? Okay, Dragon Mage Shio. Into the extra monster zone, of course. Just like all what new players do. Haven't seen Dragon Maids in ages. This is, yeah, literally the third one in the stream. Okay, Shio, set one pass. Hopefully that's not a, a tidying. But if it is, it's not really a big deal. Ooh, another King of the Swamps. I only just joined stream, so I missed the others. What streams? No, no, it was literally this stream. Oh, you mean you missed it? That's because he just joined this stream. Gotcha. Okay, Dragon Mage Sheet AO is going to special summon Chamber back from the graveyard in order to search out Tidine from the deck. Hopefully they didn't hard draw into a Tidine, but chances are they did, because what else other card would they be playing? Oh, Hospitality. Not Tidine? Well, whatever. Okay, Terraform to bait out the negate. 
And if it doesn't negate, then I can just use di Giant Ballpark twice. <gasps> Ooh! Okay, and then we use King of the Swamp. Dragon Maids are old news. Fish Maids are all the rage now. Fish Maids? What? They're gonna use Shieo on that? Wait. Wait. Okay, I'm fine. I got scared there for a second. I just noticed the latest video on the clip channel. There's a clip on the clip channel? Wait, what was that? Let me check my own Discord server. YouTube notifications. Oh, it was the date me one. Okay, then activate Giant Ballpark. I just need to take some battle damage so I can proc Giant Ballpark. Normal summon, King of the Swamp, and then crash and hope they don't have Tidying face down. Because if they do, then I'm ham boned. <gasps> A crash into this card. The Chamber Dragon Maid. And before his face down is downtime and not tidying. Now it's a tidying. They're gonna bounce my dragon, my king of the swamp. So I can use his effect to search out. Polymerization! Yay, Polly! And then we set three cards and hope they can't pop my giant ballpark because if they do then I'm ham boned hey about being mean to you in minis chat I regret nothing were you mean to me thanks for the sub Neo's W for 13 months oh on a 12 month streak excuse me wait how are you subscribed for 13 months and on a 12 month streak Logs, what's poppin'? I'm losing my mind over here. Trying to get this goddamn fucking car to proc a single flippin' time. I just want to use three of a kind. I didn't think it would be so hard to use this stupid card. Change over. This only pops monsters, right? Target one monster opponent controls. Okay, good. Log of the room doesn't remember the names of chat. Of course I do. I remember everything. I'm a genius. Okay, change over. They're gonna go into Shi Ao. Does Shi Ao stop Giant Ballpark? I think it can. That's unfortunate, but I think it can. Wait, did they use house for it? Couldn't they have just used Tidying to get a bigger one in the graveyard? Okay, there's she Ao. Why are you pronouncing it weird? Because it triggers chat. Uh, any other plays? No? I wish you wouldn't take so long with all of your plays, Shauna O. Okay, hospitality. Okay. Nah, we're used to it. Don't trigger chat. I want to, though. It's so funny. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. Did they already use chamber this turn? I, I don't think they did. I think they have another search with it. He thinks he can tag into house. What? If it's brought out properly, I think you can, right? Thanks for the sub, KP Danny. Just call her show like a normal person. Shio? You want me to call her Shio? No. It's Shio. Come on, go into the fucking battle phase already. Just attack. Just attack already. Let me use my fucking giant ballpark that's going to get negated. You've declared battle. Activate the effect of a card? No. Activate giant ballpark? Yes. Is she Ayo? 
she ayo dragon mage she ayo is going to activate its effect to stop my freaking giant ballpark from activating because he hates progress logs any update in your dating profile yeah no matches <gasps> let me do some matches now while my opponent is taking forever let's see here let me open up my two apps <gasps> they're going to a declare it a direct attack wow would you like to open it up would you like to subscribe for premium to see who your two likes are End turn? Yes, let's activate Trap Trick. We can use this in order... Wait, what's my graveyard look like? <laughs> my graveyard doesn't look very good. <laughs> I, I should have just went for Cubic Ascension. That would have been good. But I'm going to bank on the fact that I'm going to draw into a monster. So I'm going to go into Subsurface Stage Dive and hope I draw into a monster. Okay. <gasps> That's a monster. Do they have another tidying? I don't remember. Activate giant ballpark number two. Okay. They're gonna activate their own trap tricks. Fuck. Are they gonna use this to go into tidying? They've already used one of their tidings. They can't use another one, can they? He does. What did this end? Prologue? Oh shit. Okay, and then we stomach cubic seed and go for battle. They can only activate prologue this turn. Which stops a lot of my plays. And then they can go into Shieo on their next turn and then negate my shit. So I can't use giant ballpark for a second time. God damn it, just let me fucking enter the battle phase once. With my shitty ass deck. The two likes are Miwa and Liwa. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be like Eel. The Dragon Destroyer Swordsman. And then... The Extra Deck Monster. You're ham-boned. Yeah. I am. Oh wait, I can just go into Link Rebo. He can't go to defense position. You absolute buffoon. We'll get ballpark next time. No, I ballpark now. Prologue. Wait, what is it doing? Can I destroy a battle or card effects this turn? You can banish this card from your graveyard this turn. Destruction sword cards you control can I destroy a battle or card effects this turn. Okay, whatever. Enter the battle phase. We'll attack into the one that gives me the lowest amount of damage. Activate Giant Ball Park. <gasps> Petite Moth. Send him to the field. I finally did it. One. Two. Three. Ooh. Oh wait, I need to get Link Rebo off the field. Are you kidding me? Target three cards your opponent controls and destroy them. I can't destroy some of their cards this turn. Whoa. Ghost Drake Dulahan. I can go Utopic Draco Future. But I can't destroy their cards this turn. But I can destroy it. No, I can't do it because then their effects will get negated. Because I need to use one effect in order to go to the stuff I need. I need to get Link Karibo off the field. <laughs> then I can use my cards. End phase. It's just this turn that they can't use their effects. Draw phase. Pop them next turn? Yeah, yeah. I can just pop them next turn. I think one of their cards gets destroyed on its own. So I don't have to worry about it. Congratulations. You played yourself. Oh, uh, we need to destroy this one. This one, and I think the back row, because they can just tidy and bring that one back. 
Okay. Hopefully this works. Tidying. They had another tidying this whole time? Well, it's a good thing they locked themselves, I guess. Okay, they're going to return their own house dragon maid. In order to bounce... Hopefully they bounce Link Karibo. Oh, they're going to bounce Giant Ballpark. That's fine. Destroy the other two cards. I have to do that before the standby phase because uh, House has a special summon effect too. He searched it? Okay, I need Link Karibo off the field. If they enter the battle phase I can, and they attack, I can use Link Karibo in order to get itself off the field. And they can probably use Shio in order to like negate it or something. Then I can use Subsurface Stage Dive. Okay, they're going to return that to their hand, which allows them to use the effect again, I guess. Either way. Oh, they had Tidying. I didn't think they'd use Tidying's effect. Oh, they had a Parlor, too. They won't attack? Of course they'll attack. Why wouldn't they attack? Send Lorpor. <gasps> I finally used three of a kind, guys. Did you see it? I can almost finally use Subsurface Stage Dive, too, in order to search out all my Cubics. And then go into the Cubic Overlord on my next turn. Assuming they don't hand bone me. They can't resist going for damage. They are going to do it. They're going to go for Shio. Okay. And then enter the battle phase. And then go for big damage. Battle phase. Activate Parlor in order to go into Lorpoir. I just hope they use Shio in order to stop Link Karibo. If they don't then that means they can negate my subsurface stage dive. <laughs> That's all I need them to do, is to negate my Link Karibo. They're going for one of my petite moths. Activate Link Karibo. Yes. Are you going to negate the effect? No? That would be stupid to negate it, but I hope they do. <gasps> no way. They're actually doing it? I can use subsurface stage dive. And it won't get negated. He's a button clicker. Yeah, exactly. Stage dive. Let's add Crimson Nova to the hand. <gasps> and they won't have a negate for next turn, so I can go into my boss monster and win. Okay. Returns to the deck. And then they can use Larpoir in order to attack into one of my other two dudes. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, I can use Link Karibo to tribute one of these cards. <laughs> oh wait, is the, that effect a hard once per turn? You can only use this effect once per turn? No, it's not! Oh fuck, it is. Okay, never mind. <gasps> I guess it was a hard once per turn. You can only use this effect once per turn? Congratulations. Until you the end of this turn, yourself. this card's in your graveyard. It doesn't say once per turn on the first effect, though. That's bullshit. Clicker versus clicker two? No. It doesn't say once per turn on it. Look at this. When opponent's monster declare attack, tribute this card, change attack to zero. Until the end of this turn, if this card's in your graveyard, tribute a monster, you can only use this effect once per turn. The second effect. It was too late to activate. Yeah, yeah, I get it now. It was because the attack was already declared, so you can't use it again. No, no, no. I know why it didn't work. It's just like, you know, I was like, oh, it's not once per turn, so I should be able to use it. But the attack was still, like, being declared. Even though it should have caused a redeclare because I special summoned a new monster to the field. But I guess that doesn't, that's not how it counts, I guess. The attack was redeclared, like, twice. But I guess there's only one declare. I don't know. Redeclare isn't a declare. That's so stupid. But whatever. I'm just going to lose because now my life points are below 3,000 I think how does this card work must be fusion summoned let me read my damn card uh, can I be summoned other ways cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effects when this card declares an attack have your opponent's life points when this card destroys the monster by battle you can activate this effect you can make this second 
attack during the battle phase. If this car, if you take effect damage, inflict the damage opponent to you. Okay, I got it. It doesn't self burn. It doesn't self burn like Crimson Nova does. Okay, activate polymerization. There's no way they have a stop for this. I mean, they can use Herald in order to like bounce Polly, but that's not going to do anything. <gasps> Crimson Nova. Oh my God. I did it. This this is the combo of the deck. This is literally everything the deck tries to do. I accomplished everything. My life is no longer a lie. I can't be targeted by my opponents. Wait, what are they doing? Then return one face-up card in the field to the hand. Wait, it doesn't target? <gasps> oh no, it has to return itself, right? Or does not I don't wanna I don't wanna read it it doesn't target. It doesn't target. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it doesn't target? This is a non-target bounce? Oh my god. After all of that, it has a non-target I thought this targeted! Get fucked, dual logs! I thought this card fucking targeted! You've gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh my god. Return one face of card in the field to the hand. Why does this card not target? How is this a freaking non-target bounce? <laughs> After all that effort to go through everything to get the freaking card out and it has a non-target bounce. If I had drawn into Necrofusion, I could have just went into it again. But then it could have just bounced it. No, it can't bounce. It's only in my turn that it bounces. No, I can still win if my opponent literally just like passes and doesn't do anything. I have one stop with Giant Ballpark. Do you think they have another Shio to go into even though they... Wait, they have two houses in the graveyard. Usually they only run two houses, right? They don't have another negate, right? Giant Ballpark can save me from a single attack and then I have a chance to draw into Necrofusion. Which goes into it again. If I go into a Necrofusion or into a Trap Tricks, like can search it out and I, I have a chance. And this is all assuming they don't have three houses and they don't do anything else and they don't bounce my giant ballpark. Thanks for the prime sub, Loki Manatees. They can still shuffle the O. Okay, they're gonna use that in order to return that to their hand and they're gonna go into a Shio. I bet he runs three houses and three Shios. No one runs three house. If this guy runs three house, I'm literally gonna shit and fard. There ain't no way. Ain't no way he runs three houses. And then I don't draw into a Necrofusion on my next turn because they have a freaking non-target bounce. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, why is the card <laughs> so bad? You can run three pure dragon mates. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have it. Do you not have giant ball? No, I have one. I have one more target for for giant ballpark. I can send Maxi from my deck to the graveyard. I can't summon anything, but I do have a target to protect myself from Shio. Oh wait, they can just use Larpor to go for 26 damage. Oh, 27. I'm dead. Are you kidding me, right, Meow? Kraken has non-target destruction. Ah, oh, I can't believe Heractic Seal has a non-target bounce. I always thought this card bounce targeted. Well, crap. They had like the one out to my card, like on the field waiting for me. Congratulations, you played yourself. <sighs> Giant ballpark activates. I can send Maxi to the grave. Oh, they did have another house. <laughs> they played three houses. <laughs> you pulled it off. Freaking spears. After almost three hours and nothing. That card can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects. And they had a non-target bounce on the field. That was a win. That was 100% a goddamn win. You've got to be kidding me. This card is useless. I'm getting rid of it. It's garbage. I'm going to put another one of these. I'm going to put in one more polymerization. 
I'm gonna put in one more necro fusion. Maid spider? No. Oh, did someone redeem maid time? Here you go. <laughs> they play three house and two shios. <laughs> one gamma, one side frame driver. They even have the Buster Blader engine and a single. Oh, they only play two tidings. Oh my god, those freaking tidings and then a dragon's mirror. Are you still gonna try? No, that's good enough. You guys understand how this garbage deck works. It works. Oh, I don't even have Draco Future in my extra deck. I'm stupid. I forgot to put in Draco Future. Let's remove one of these and a Pico Flina. No, we'll remove one of the Link Spiders. Uh, Onimaru time? No, I'm not going to do Onimaru turbo. You forgot? Shut up. Well, this is close to the end of my stream anyway. I'll just call it quits here. Okay, guys. Who is streaming right now? We have... Moogie, who's just sleeping. So, that's a no-go. We have... Kira Hishitori. We have... Vincent. You guys want to go over to Vince? Is Meowie there? Let's see here. Oh, cool. So, sure, we'll go over there. Why not? Here, hey, guys. We're going to go over to Vince. Make sure you spam feet in his chat because he hates it. Well, he doesn't hate it. One of his mods does, and I think it's funny. Okay, guys. I think he has my feet emote banned over there. <laughs> I occasionally go to his stream and spam too. So it has been banned for a while. I'll see you guys tomorrow at the secret stream or Wednesday on the normal stream. Goodbye. <laughs>